There's one phrase that I hear all the time in the self-help space. I hear this from coaches and wellness practitioners, holistic practitioners, and it's oftentimes coming from people who truly are well-meaning and well-intended. But this one phrase, what it does when you, when you say it to somebody is it actually creates disconnection within the body. Even Disney has a whole movie and a whole brand built around this three word phrase, and that is let it go. I get that it makes sense. You're angry, let that go. I get that you know when you're frustrated, let that go. When you're stressed, let that go. But what we're really saying underneath that phrase of let it go is you're actually saying a part of me is bad and wrong. And when somebody tells you to let it go, what they're actually saying is, I don't want that part of you here with me. And you know, we live in this culture that thinks that there's good emotions and bad emotions. And when we're trying to be positive all the time and be good, we end up setting ourselves up for failure because that anger, that fear, that frustration, that exhaustion, it's actually your body trying to talk to you. And if you're not listening and telling yourself to let that go or that a part of you is wrong or bad, that unconscious emotion, which is really just energy, gets stored in the body and can literally turn into stress, pain, illness, disease, sickness, and so on. And so when somebody tells you to let it go, you're actually perpetuating a cycle of what I call the disease of disconnection, where you're cutting off a part of yourself in order to come off in a certain light or be a certain person. But really, and here's what I think instead, when you learn how to feel that fear, when you learn how to wrap that anger with love, that energy, because it's just energy, all emotions are just energy. When you wrap that energy with love and you give yourself a space to feel it, that energy becomes your fuel. For me, the I call it compassionate anger. That anger that I feel about what's going on in our world today, it can like rattle me at times. And when I wrap that anger, that fear, that frustration with love and I bring it back into my body, it allows me to like lift off and go and serve more. So here's what I'm curious about today. What's that part of yourself that you've been saying, I need to let that go. I need to let that fear go. I need to let that pain go. I need to let that anger go. What if instead you j just simply told yourself, today I'm gonna wrap that with love and I'm gonna bring that energy back. I'm gonna integrate that energy back into me because as soon as that energy comes back home, you feel grounded, you feel peaceful, you feel unstoppable. This is Body Mind Living with Laura Wick. Thanks for watching.